kind of like the last six years was working in a, in a 1099 sales job. And uh, so it taught me a lot and I, I liked it. There was parts of that that I liked. The, the job wasn't a fit really for the long term, um, but it taught me a lot of pieces about I kind of always gravitated towards real estate. And so it taught me maybe some of the pieces that helped me kind of keep the rest of this, you know, understanding how a house works, it's built, the functional pieces. I knew that. And, uh, but I didn't necessarily always understand the sales side or some of the other pieces. So, um, so that kind of pushed me through that and then got me into um, kind of that real estate bug, if you will, what people talk about. Uh, 2018 is when I started. Um, so basically I focus on cash flow rentals um, and kind of in the Midwest area. It's, you know, on the personal side, you know, I've got, you know, about 14 rentals and then, uh, then I also have a partnership as well that, that started in 2019. And um, we just, we just got off the ground with that in August and uh, doing well. I mean, I probably get about 20 doors there. And so um, we don't really play as much of the appreciation game but definitely the monthly cash flow and, and that is, is kind of our space for, for right now. You know, when the first time we first talked about it, the, the series LLC, I'd, I'd heard about it, but I, I mean, I got it, but it didn't really like click. And then I was kind of like, Oh, you know, kind of some of the clientele that we work with, I mean, literally it's nothing against anybody, but, one of they don't have any idea of getting rich besides either winning a lottery or, or winning a lawsuit and so it, that kind of dawned on me that it's like hey maybe if we're hard to find that's just one extra step of protection that you know m makes us you know just kind of in a better place and so well, when we spoke about that 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 was kind of one step and then just I don't know, I would say the rest of it was just the all like I spoke about before with the with the all encompassing pieces that that we could put in I mean we needed an estate plan. You know, it wasn't that we didn't have something, but our family had grown. We had moved. Um, we have, you know, more assets than the last time we had set stuff up and we needed something that was kind of flexible. And so, you know, it just kind of answered a lot of the questions or the pieces that we had out there instead of being kind of in separate, separate areas, we, we put all the pieces into one bucket. And here's a here's a live example. I get a call to get today from my property manager. He says, "Well, we got a chance that we could get sued." And I said, "Okay, great. Sounds awesome. What? Fill me in." So he said, "And I, and really, what this was is it's nothing against the tenant. It was just she's just not a fit. Um, her payments come in cycles, so she'll go and not pay for two or three months on time. You know, go through the eviction process, and then um, you know, wham, a whole wave of money comes through." Um, so it was really a lady, she's in the eviction process now and don't have any ill will or wishes, but just want to move her out. It's, you know, she needs to pay and that's just part of the deal. And we don't ask a whole lot of rents aren't, aren't crazy high. Um, we just need them to do some simple things for us. Um, and then I find out today, it's like, well, there's mold in the house. And there was a work order placed in October that has never been addressed. And supposedly now a child has gotten sick from it and so it's one of those things are ever things that I want in my property for one so I'm very frustrated with a property management company um, just because I mean there's just no reason no excuse not to um, but now we also had a situation where we had a lady that the eviction date is set we're like we're moving this along and now we've really opened ourselves up for you know we have to be very on top of things if we're not on top of things we've either got a chance to have to reinstate the tenant and mitigate all the the potential molds um i haven't seen it so i mean that could just be a tactic but it's all things that can happen and the more times you're buttoned up the more things that we're prepared for the the less that can happen there was some people that did you know two or three things maybe or they thought they did um and, and so you'd interview them and I guess where I would, I don't know, like some people, they just, I guess they felt or sounded like they knew what they were talking about or they felt like they were. But when I asked some questions, they really couldn't, couldn't answer it well. Um, and so it just kind of created some question for me of like, okay, well, this is kind of the answer where we're getting in the start. Um, I don't know if you're my best choice. Um, so 
a lot of the questions that I asked, I could get a pretty simple answer for, or um, it was something that I didn't totally understand. So it was like, hey, I needed to get caught up on, on a few things. So that that really kind of put me over the kind of the edge, if you will. Um, you know, I think like when we kind of talked about, it, I mean, there's more, there's expensive people out there that cover things and do really well. Um, and there's cheaper people than you, but I think where you were was that you were at a good, good in-between price, but then also because of that, you could still, you're paying more, a little bit more, but you're getting access to quite a bit more and, and, and really increasing the value, I guess, for, for what you're, what you're paying for. And that was on top of that, you know, just getting to, like I said, speaking with you and feeling sound about things, the price and the strategy, I just, it was the best one I had for the, for the options that were out there, for sure. I tried about six weeks. Um, I tried to keep it concise. Um, I went, I went, I talked to five people. Um, and then kind of, but then also kind of went down the rabbit hole of their people that they work with because a lot of them, some of them, they did very minimal, meaning they did one thing and then they had three or four people that you kind of worked with that weren't under the, that they worked with, but weren't under their quote unquote umbrella. Um, so you kind of, I mean, you probably talked, right, probably talked to 20 people, but the five main, there was five main groups that I kind of interviewed, if you will. That I tried to get it pretty concise just because I needed to keep things moving. Um, but yeah, that was a yeah, probably about a six week process. Right now, the, that, the measurability of that is tough because we're still in the process. But on the, on the flip side of it, from the very beginning of things, I wouldn't be able to pull off an estate plan, a series LLC, a traditional LLC, and a solo 401k by myself at this pace um one i don't have the knowledge base and then two i mean i would have to take one piece at a time and then like a lot of things if you don't know it you actually start with the wrong piece and then you either got to start over or adjust or you know you did something wrong so i think that 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 question or an answer will kind of really play out i'd say in the next six months um to be able to give you maybe a better tangible explanation but just in the beginning phases I just know I couldn't do it this quick on my own you know there was other people that said that they could do it faster when I was interviewing those other people but I felt like I got a very cookie cutter approach and it was like okay but this is how I want to do things a little bit differently or what about this and it got outside of their box pretty quick so I felt like this was still flexible and you know um structurally sound that was kind of a blur um i'm trying to think i i want to say maybe bigger pockets but there i mean I, there could have been something else on youtube um I, I don't remember exactly where it was but then i really kind of tried to dive into a lot of your videos and some of that and then that was that kind of introduced me to it and then um like i said that's when i reached out and and was able to catch up with you and kind of learn learn your kind of plan if you will well i would say it was probably like speaking about like the series llc and then just kind of the i don't remember exactly what it was but i remember in a video going okay this is this is exactly what i'm looking for i don't i don't remember what it was but it was just like okay there it is let's see if this actually is true and then, like I said, then I called and we were able to connect a lot of dots. And I was just like, yeah, this, this makes, I don't know if you remember, I mean, you talked to so many people, but the first time I remember speaking with you, I was like, oh yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Okay. Let's, I mean, we got to dive into a few more pieces, but yeah, this, this sounds, this sounds like the, the path to go with. Well, you did a good job. You asked. I mean, you always got to, I mean, first off you got to ask, um, but, but the flip side of it was that I, I would say that when we could ask good questions, we could lay it out. Um, you know, sometimes it's weird, maybe whatever, but I'd, I'd send you an email that laid out, hey, these are the things I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at talking about. These are the things that we want to cover. You know, they were answered. Um, you know, sometimes that wasn't taken care of with other places. It was just kind of like, uh, okay, yeah, we don't know what, we'll, we'll see, we'll get back to that. And so if, 
if you can answer the question or not know and then look it up and by the time we're getting on a call just you know go over it that was it's a, it's a little thing but that was that was important just because i needed to everybody's time's limited everybody's busy and when we get things laid out we can have a good plan that's that that was what i was looking for for sure well i've, I've worked with a lot of people right now and so that it's it's tough to put a value on it yet um meaning that we get everything laid out um this is you know like i think candace sent me some solo 401k emails um uh, midweek but it was good it was just it was the value of it was i could look at it and say okay hey there's 65 pages here but these are the important ones look this part over um you know and then i have some questions on some contributions so you know i just shoot an email back saying okay not sure exactly what i'm selecting here you know can you help me with that so the ability i guess that right now the value is is i don't know everything so if i can ask a question or get directed to somebody that can help me understand the decision i need to make that that's the current value and then in the future, I would say, you know, how we set that up then allows us to compound. And like in the case of the solar 401k, use that money in a lot of different ways that really helps us uh, take advantage of that, that system. Well, I mean, actually, I talked to a lot of young guys. I, I mean, like, like in our market, we, I mean, there's about three or four of us that, that are kind of all around the same area. And so it's, you know, we, I kind of throw stuff out. They throw things out, you know, what they're seeing, what they're doing. Um, and so I think a lot of guys are scared to spend money on something that doesn't necessarily buy them a house. But I think they're also starting to see that it's like, oh, okay, like as I get a family, as I have other things going on, this is something that I need to do um, because I don't know how to do it. And I don't want to – I mean – they don't want to mess up, but they also maybe got a little paralysis, if you will. So um, I think I'm kind of I'm kind of leading the way on this one on, for those guys. But once they kind of see how a few things work, I think they would definitely be like, okay, yeah, I see. Now let's let's take care of that as well. So I mean, it's kind of one of those pieces where if you're doing something and if you're building any kind of real estate asset base do it from the beginning and just have the plan. I mean, I guess that maybe that's the easiest way to put it is if you start out this way, it's a whole lot easier than um, unwinding something and then rebuilding it or putting it back together or discovering all the things you could have been accessing and using for the last three years that, that are basically kind of wasted because you didn't set it up right the first time. Like, I mean, I think the second time we called, I was like, I didn't know I didn't know, but man, if I'd have done this in 2018, there were some things that would have saved me some money, but also probably we would have set up things that could have helped me a little bit sooner. So I didn't lose too much time, but, you know, not knowing doesn't help you. And then when you do know or do get a chance to kind of figure out how it can help you, waiting's not doing anything but delaying success. <laughs>